IOD Wonder Ladies and Wonder Moms. Our topic for this video is IUD. What are the types of IUD we have in the market here in the Philippines? And what are the advantages and disadvantages? Wow. The mechanism of action and how much does it cost us for its type wow. of IUD? I will also answer some of the commonly asked questions regarding IUD. Intrauterine devices are small contraceptive devices, plastic or metal, inserted through the cervix and positioned into the uterine cavity. There are two basic types, the hormonal IUD and the copper IUD. The copper IUD is currently the IUD being commonly used. It is a T-shaped plastic device with a string of copper wrapped around its stem and copper bands on its arm. It has a two-stranded monofilament tail that protrudes through the cervical canal into the upper part of the vagina, allowing easy identification and removal. For the hormonal type, commonly available in the United States is the Skyla, and now which is also available in the Philippines is the Mirena. The Levonorgestrel intrauterine system is a small contraceptive device consisting of a polyethylene T-shaped frame with a steroid reservoir around the 32 mm long vertical stem. It contains 52 mg of levonorgestrel and releases approximately 20 micrograms per day, reducing to approximately 10 micrograms per day after 5 years. Mechanism of Action The copper IOD prevents pregnancy mainly by inhibition of sperm transport into the upper genital tract and inhibition of ovum transport. Active substances released from the IUD together with products derived from the inflammatory reaction present in the luminal fluids of the genital tract are toxic for spermatozoa and oocytes, preventing the encounter of healthy gametes and the formation of viable embryos. The contraceptive effects of the levonorgestrel are mediated via its progestogenic effect on the endometrium that increases the thickness of the cervical mucus, making it more difficult for sperm to cross the vagina into the uterus and the possibility of fertilization become less likely. In a healthy woman, the only tests that are essential and mandatory before IUD insertion include a pelvic or genital examination, and sexually transmitted infection risk assessment. Here are the sexually transmitted infection risk factors. Yeah. One is sexually active and less than 25 years old. Two, having new sexual partner in the last three months. Three, having more than one sexual partner in the last year. Four, having a regular sexual partner who has other sexual partners. Number five, history of STIs. And number six, alcohol or substance abuse. IUD can be inserted at any time during the menstrual bleeding, day one to seven. Then, at any time during the menstrual cycle, provided that it is reasonably certain that the woman is not pregnant. Then, you can also insert that immediately after a non-septic abortion. An IUD also can be inserted at any time within 48 hours after childbirth and during cesarean section prior to closure of the uterus. You can also insert IUD from 4 weeks postpartum or after giving birth. And then you can also insert IUD immediately when shifting to another method which was used correctly and accurately. The client should be advised that insertion of an IUD may cause pain and discomfort for a few hours and light bleeding for a few days. And they should be informed about appropriate pain relief like the use of methanamic acid. IUD can be removed anytime. The most common reason for discontinuation for the IUD are desire for pregnancy, unacceptable vaginal bleeding, pain, and infection. The main reason for discontinuation of the levonorgestrel is amenorrhea. Here are some side effects of IUD. One, heavy menstrual bleeding and dysmenorrhea are likely with IUD use. During the first six months following levonorgestrel insertion, 
Irregular bleeding and spotting are common while oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea is likely by the end of the first year of its use. The client should be advised that heavy menstrual bleeding associated with IUD can be treated with tranexamic acid and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as mefenamic acid. The client should be advised that if heavy bleeding associated with IUD use is unacceptable, she may consider shifting to a hormonal IUD such as Mirena. The patient should also be advised that there is no significant weight gain with the use of hormonal IUD. The patient should be advised of the possibility of development of acne in using hormonal IUD. The client should be advised that the levonorgestrel intrauterine system may be used by women who have migraine with or without aura. The client should be advised also that there is no evidence of a delay in the return of fertility following removal or expulsion of IUD or intrauterine system. Patients should be informed that IUD use is not contraindicated in nulliparous women of reproductive age and it is safe and appropriate method for adolescents. Patients should also be advised that IUD can be safely used during breastfeeding and they can also use the copper IUD and levonorgestrel for women with body mass index more than 30. Levonorgestrel intrauterine system is effective for patients with heavy menstrual bleeding and dysmenorrhea associated with endometriosis. Correct placement of an IUD during the postpartum period, whether immediate, delayed, or intracesarean, is a safe and effective contraceptive method. Follow-up Follow-up is recommended after the first menstruation or 3 to 6 weeks after insertion. Transvaginal ultrasound for visualization of IUD string is not recommended unless there is no visualization of the string on inspection and there is a suspicion of displacement of the string. Advantages of Hormonal IUD is an effective method of contraception. It can last for 5 years and periods are less painful. There is no vaginal bleeding or light regular period and no medication affects its contraceptive function. Does not need to interrupt sex for contraception. No partner participation can be removed anytime. Can return to normal fertility after removal. These advantages are 1. Sore or tender breast, 2. Headache, 3. Mood changes, and 4. Weight gain. 5. You can have acne, 6. Cramping and pelvic pain, 7. Irregular bleeding and improve after 6 months, and 8. Don't protect you from STD. Wow. Benefits of IUD 1. Less chance of failure, 2. Does not require frequent attention, 3. It is reversible, and 4. Economical, especially the copper IUD. IUD is not recommended for women who have STD with recent history of pelvic infection with cervical cancer and uterine cancer. Women with history of abnormal vaginal bleeding with multiple sexual partners and allergy to copper. How to check your IUD? Clean and wash your hands with soap and water. Insert your index finger inside the vagina and touch your cervix. And then check for the string in your cervix. Check your IUD every after menstruation. How much is the cost of IUD? It depends if you're going to a private or government hospital and your healthcare provider. Copper IUD start at 2,500 and it's free in the government hospital. Mirena starts at 13,500 depending on your OBGYN. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot about IUD.